Like Mr. Ang Wei Neng and Associate Professor Walter Tessera, we are very keen to understand how the virus later spread among migrant workers. The epidemiological studies provide some preliminary clues. Within the dormitories that have clusters, not all blocks or rooms are equally affected. Across different dormitories, infected workers were linked through common work sites. At work sites, it was not uncommon for the infected workers to take breaks together, share food and utensils. Likewise, infected workers from different dormitories had gathered during their rest days to socialize and shop, for example, at Mustafa. Back in the dormitories, workers spent time with their friends, cooking, eating, and relaxing together. The virus may have spread through all of these activities, much like how it spread among family members, religious groups, and even colleagues. One recent finding is that most of the infected workers have mild symptoms, likely because they tend to be young. When asked if they are unwell, even after testing positive, some workers say they feel fine. Many were uncovered only because of active case finding or swab exercises. This may explain why up to the middle of March, the cases of workers at the dormitories testing positive were few and far between. <laughs>